first involvement with MDA was in the 1980s when, as head of the Task Force on Genetics, we laid the foundation for the discovery of the gene underlying Duchenne muscular dystrophy. This discovery laid the groundwork for the field of genetic medicine, which today is one of the most promising areas of scientific discovery, helping people not only with muscular dystrophy, but many, many other diseases as well. The MDA actually made investments of gene therapy really at the very outset of this field being developed in the late 1990s. And it's continued through the last 20 years to help advance the field. And now we have the opportunity to see the same benefits for patients with Duchenne. So MDA care centers are playing an increasing role as gene therapies come online. These are not easy to give, they are complicated, and the places where that expertise resides are the care centers because just, you know, these are very rare diseases and so the likelihood that someone outside of a care center will have seen enough, in the, uh, enough cases, um, delivered enough doses of these medications to do it as safely as we need to um, is very low. This is this is really happening. This is, we went from hope to actually seeing an amazing gene therapy. Being able to buy five to 10 years for Connor is, especially in Duchenne, a miracle. It's just phenomenal. Amazing progress in gene therapies throughout neuromuscular diseases. People should support the MDA because they have made such a difference. I'll, I'll speak on, you know, Connor's clinical trial that he had participated in five years ago that he's still in. He received the gene therapy drug. Because of the MDA is the reason why Connor and so many other boys are, are, um, are treated right now and are, will be treated. Mm -hmm.